this video I'm going to run you through the various icons within the Render Man shelf and I'll also show you the various options within the Render Man menu as well. But the first thing to point out is that these icons are arranged into categories. So these first four here, they deal with rendering. And then this next four, they deal with lighting. And then these three are materials. And this last set here has got the texture manager and the preset manager and a few other bits and pieces. So this first icon here that you can see will render the current frame. And if I right click on it, I can either set to preview the render or I can also do a batch render as well. This next one here is to fire off an interactive render session. So that can either be within it or it can be within the Maya render view. And again, if I right click on it, I get a number of options. So I can stop it, I can flush the texture cache, I can render selected objects only. I can set which camera I want the IPR session to be running from. And I can also set the resolution. So this is pretty handy and it just allows me to not have to jump back into the render settings each time I want to adjust my resolution that I'm doing my RPR session from. This one here will load up it. So if I just give it a click, you'll see this is the image tool within RenderMan. This is really where most of your renders will happen. And we'll get to this in the next lesson. Let's close that down. This next icon here opens up the local render queue. So if I was doing a batch render, I could see the status and the completed frames within my animation. Now these four here, they all deal with lighting. So if I right click on this first one, you can see that this will allow me to create a rectangular light, disc light, a distant light, a sphere light, cylinder light, and also a Pixar AOV light. Um, and by default, if I just simply left click it, it will drop down a Pixar rectangular light. Um, get rid of that. This next option here allows me to create a dome light and I can add in a portal light, which is really good for interiors. And I can also here create a Pixar daylight as well. This one here is for mesh lights. So if I had a geometry selected, I simply click this and it will create a mesh light from it. And then this option here allows me to add barn doors and gobos and cookies and stuff to my currently selected light. These next three options are materials. So if I right click on this one, you can see that I would be able to apply a Pixar surface or a layered surface or a Martian and a hair um, and a Disney and a constant. This next one here all deals with volumes and VDBs. So this one here allows me to load in a VDB. And then I can also create volume boxes and spheres to add the Pixar volume shader to if I was going to do fog or God rays or smoke. And then this last one here is for the holdout mats. And again, we'll get to this as we progress through these lessons. This one here is all about GPU caches for importing and exporting. This next option here brings up the dynamic rules editor, which effectively allows you to automatically and dynamically connect shaders to geometry. This one here fires up the texture manager, which will allow you to convert any JPEGs or PNGs into the .tex format. This here is one of my favorite buttons. This is the preset browser. And if I give it a click, it opens this tab and you can see a whole bunch of preset materials and environments and light rigs that RenderMan ships with. And again, we'll get to this later and I'll, I'll show you how this works and how you can create your own libraries. This here is for render view statistics. We haven't got any rendering going, so we're not gonna see anything in the minute, but again, we'll get to this later. So this one here allows you to load the RenderMan plugin. And then if you need more help, this one will take you to the online documentation.